Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Rule the Waves as the United States, episode number 32, perhaps. I don't even know at this point. It's, uh, what is it, the fifth episode of this never-ending battle? Probably the, one of the biggest battles I've been in. I think we've already talked about that. Anyways, let me make sure we get all these things going on correctly, and let's take a look at the carnage here. We have several ships at the point of sinking. The potent Terrapin does not look like she's going to make it. Actually, flooding down to 287, I, didn't, I don't think I checked that exact number before cutting off in the break. Uh, St. Joseph looks fine. Last Bastion looks actually okay. I mean, 426 is terrible, obviously, but we had one of these at 700. Um, somebody was mentioning, I mean, there's so many great comments, uh, so many, but oh, I probably can't remember all the good ones all at the same time. Um, two good stories. I love the role playing, like, um, like journal or um, news report type stories we're getting out of this and I think it makes sense because this is really an exciting period of the series we're in this huge fleet battle this is why I was you know cheering so much for fleet battle because they are fun anyway uh, we have this Anson which is the Camberdon class uh, we had these Kales who just somehow or maybe it was the Usk or maybe it was the Riflemans, who knows, but they just got off a pretty fearsome barrage of um, torpedoes, and we have the Potent Terrapin in dire straits, the Providence almost surely going to sink, and the Lexington is still isn't out of the woods, isn't in the clear yet. Last Bastion, I, I guess with 400 and the damage, I mean with this much flooding available and the damage control we already have, I suspect that she's going to be okay, but you know, it's still too early to tell. If we can control this flooding very, very quickly, so we'll be pulling her off the line, obviously. If we can control this flooding very quickly, it'll be a really good thing. Um, she might even return to the battle. I mean, <laughs> take a torpedo hit or not, which she only took one. Surprising, this torpedo must have just been exactly in the incorrect area. Engine room hit. Well, yeah, that, that's not usually where you want to take a torpedo hit. It's going to definitely impact her ability to uh, escape. Oh, no, you don't really want high speed after taking a torpedo put, uh, torpedo hit anyway. So there was a rare, I've, one of the, maybe it was Warwolves, I think it was Warwolves, uh, right up little story. He was talking about how we're pretty much in two fighting groups. Um, they have their fighting group, which is the southern one. It's getting a little, I mean, they have three technically. We have a lot of people referring to the unknown position of the 20th British capital ship somewhere in the southeast, maybe in the southeast, could be east or south or maybe southwest or northeast by this point. Um, anyway, we don't know where that ship is. I'm not too worried about that one ship. Um, I'm more worried about just trying to get all my other ships to survive. And what we incidentally did trying to optimize our torpedo chances is we created this pocket, which I was talking about doing for a long time. But then unfortunately, when we want to escape from you know push away from the british to to try to get some breathing room and to get some of our really injured ships uh, a fair chance of survival we find that we're in the path of their retreat and this is uh another great comment was somebody saying um we're both trying to retreat and we're both in each other's paths of retreat something like that they worded it better uh but it was another comment that was uh, it really underscores the beauty of the situation that we're both trying to retreat through each other because it, it says, first of all, that we want to retreat. Our ships are damaged enough that we want to retreat. And then it also shows that we can't retreat but without going through each other. So, okay. So let's advance a minute. Pray that nothing terrible happens while I get my feet. Oh, my God. Oh. Well, this is not how you wanted your episode to begin, I tell you that much. Not how we wanted that to begin at all. Definitely not how we wanted that to begin. Okay, so the New Haven's disengage. Just return, return to port again. Ah, that was very unfortunate. Okay, well let's look at what else happened. We have hit a Kale class ship. This is not sinking. Mars class, which is, but that was... Oh, the Ohio is actually firing main guns at it. No, that's that's not what we want to happen at all. 
So peel off Tennessee. We are going to have you move right towards Last Bastion. Let's see. Did she, she's down to 400. Okay, that's not bad. Lexington. Holding steady at 23. Providence. Below 700. I guess is the best we can say about that. Um, okay, so let's look at the other things. Europa, two more. Secondary hits, not too big of a deal. Minstrel class taking a hit. Well, makes sense. She's pursuing the Arcadia. The Arcadia will basically be firing at her. Um, when this is a Cunningham. Oh, yeah. This is, we, we don't want her. Do we have any torpedoes left? A1 does have some. Let's fire these torpedoes if we can. At the how class is somewhere in there. Friendly ships in line of fire. I guess that's true. We have this berry class buried in there. Um, kind of an interesting situation. We have this torpedo, which could hit like any number of ships. <laughs> we have the how. We have... The Mars class, which is not sinking quite yet, but whoa, what a mess. So can we aim instead at the Mars class? No, yeah, it's not going to let us aim at any of these, I guess. Okay, well, that's a shame, but... Uh, by the way, I forgot to adjust this. I think I just want to move it up slightly. Okay, good. Because we are cutting off, I think, the very bottom of this. All right, anyways, that'll be interesting to keep an eye on. We don't want our Cunningham class destroyers to take all that damage. So we're gonna just deploy smoke and pull out the Iroquois group. These guys I will task with going back in. Uh, but let's get the Providence out as fast as possible. I mean, phew, as fast as possible. That's actually one of the problems. We're gonna have to slow her down and we're gonna turn her just due north, north, even northwest. Um, just to get her out of the out of the area out of this area, and we'll slow her down below ten. Lexington, God willing, will repair her rudder. Doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon. Yeah, and we'll get the Wichita and the Great Lakes and all these ships over, uh, also to this big mess. Um, and hopefully, what we'll find is that our ships, whatever is remaining here, although they're just devastated from torpedo hits. Um, hopefully, I'd surprise the potent terrapins really just came out of nowhere. We had these three battle cruisers in such bad situations, the St. Joseph, Providence, and Lexington, and now, I think, the Providence is like almost dead to rights, but the other two look like they're in better shape, well, than the last bastion. I don't know. We'll see how the last bastion does. Now, what is going on? We got a change of leadership over here for some reason. I never really understand why this happens. They detach for various reasons. Uh, max speed is down to 22 on the St. Louis. That might be the reason. Freedom is fleeing north, which is good. I mean, this Europa has just got to be on its last legs. Chickamauga taking a hit. McDonough taking a hit. Well, I mean, she's way in there, isn't she? <laughs> she doesn't even have any speed left. No, she does. Give her all she's got, Captain. Don't have the power. Uh, so if we have the berry, where's the berry? Let's detach the berry if we can. Should be able to. Just go. I want independent control of these. Uh, we'll go down swinging. I think. And it's funny to see that there's so much smoke in the area. The sighting range is reduced by 20%. Probably that's having an impact on our accuracy as well. So, okay. So let's see if we can pull off surviving with the other ships. One minute and one ship is dead <laughs> of ours. Uh, we'll, let's see if we can... Slightly improved rate of... Uh, I mean, a slightly lessened rate of losing ships would be really nice. Okay, that bulwark got hit. How got hit. Mars got hit. McDonald's ran the Mars. Okay, that's not a uh, Providence. Oh my god. How the hell? 745. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're gonna do is just move her down to dead stop. That is a terrible angle for torpedoes, too. We're gonna move her down to dead stop. If she takes any more hits, she's just dead anyway. Let's move up here. You're deploying smoke, right? Yeah. Iroquois, let's also have you guys deploy smoke. We'll try to save the Providence. She's... Providence has not smiled upon her. 
spider name. Roger Sham Starboard. Damn it. I think we're going to lose all three. I think we're going to lose the Potent Terrapin, the Providence Hand, the Lexington. Last Bastion. Down to 400. This does not look like a good turn for us. Okay, so Usk, two Usk ships taking hits. Two, I mean, two hits on a Rother. Bulwark class, which is already dead, is being fired up at the St. Louis. Okay, we have to make sure that we're attacking the correct ships here. We need to be attacking the Indefatigable. I almost said that right for the first time, but not quite. Um, so let's go Indefatigable. There. Target this ship because she is by far our greatest threat in the area. Okay, good. So set target. Let's go everyone with the Indefatigable. I think it's the wisest choice, and definitely not that one. Let the Europa get away, even. She's probably not going to get away, but she only has one gun firing anyway. 16-inch turrets, that's pretty brutal. Maybe I have to do this. Maybe I give one person, probably the St. Louis herself, the, uh, the Europa, and everyone else fires at the other ones. So I think that's fair. And definitely the freedom should be engaging the indefatigable. Okay, Bulwark. Uh, we did hit the Europa twice. Twice more, man. This ship is... Oh, it's on fire even. It's got to be going down soon. Then the Yosemite just got pulverized by 16-inch guns. Nothing nice about that. Providence, just besides taking yet another torpedo hit... God, she's going... She's, she's just going to go down. Last Bastion taking a hit to the conning tower. Let's open this up a little more so I can see a little bit. Uh, Barry again, just just bushwhacked. Uh, Europa took no nope, secondary hits, not important. Kale, any hits to her are probably important, but she's sinking already, so they're useless. Uh, yeah, and the Barry class have done a pretty good job. It's you have to say, at containing the enemy destroyer threat. This is not something I'm going to worry too much about. This bulwark, this usk is. Alive and well, and therefore dangerous. But let's see, where, do, where were these torpedo hits? This is, damn it, a ship that's already sinking. The Howl, which is definitely not sinking. Looks like it knocked out her rear turret. And the Mars took a hit. She's She has collided now as well with the, uh, the McDonough, who's, I'm sure, sinking. <laughs> yeah, immediately. It was a brave maneuver. I mean, extremely brave. We can even pretend she was aiming for the how to slow her down, which would have done much more for my fleet, too. All right, now please tell me, Avewin, that you can uh, launch those torpedoes because I really need you to. Damn it. Friendly ships in line of fire everywhere. Balls. Um, let's move this way and get the light cruisers to hopefully do some damage then. Last Bastion. Actually, Last Bastion is doing a good job maneuvering because this Usk looked like she was going to make a torpedo run. And she's not going to make a torpedo run very well if she's being gunned down. I mean, it's first of all, if the Last Bastion is running away, it's going to be really hard to hit with torpedoes. Okay. Potent Terrapin. You're dying a few shots. It would be wonderful if you could hit... Yeah, that Mars would be fine. I doubt you can, but... We'll pretend you can anyway. Okay. So that's that. Alright, I think we just go another minute, but... Boy, every minute is just bringing up worse and worse... Stuff for us. Okay, avoiding torpedoes. Tennessee is avoiding a ton of torpedoes. Oh my god, this, this, is this two kale classes? Or is this a weirdness with the... I think it's a weirdness of... Oh, it's a flag coming up, okay. So this kale class is still in action. So we get the Tennessee to move away. We don't need to lose any more ships. Really don't. Flooding down to 380. St. Joseph. Looks like she's going to survive. Providence hasn't yet given up the ghost, but... 
doesn't look good for her. Lexington's still continuing her... Uh, oh, damn it. Somebody get on that rudder. You know what? Stupid me. Now, a, not, a, move, a ship that's not moving is a very vulnerable target, but if the two choices we have are either to continue and move into the British fleet or to come to a halt, let's choose the latter of those two options. Now, you guys are a line ahead. Let's have you deploy smoke and move towards the Providence. Um, we are starting to launch, it looks like, a few torpedoes, which is good at the how or in that general direction. Let's see if the A-1 can fire torpedoes yet. Yes. Fire she shall. Absolutely. Fire everything. You guys, can you fire torpedoes as well? How? Yes. Oh, this is looking much better. Fire torpedoes. How? Excellent. Okay, now we're in business. Now we're in business. If the how goes down, I really feel like this. the rest of these ships get out alive. I'm not even sure how things are going to go up here. You know, it's not it's not over. Okay, let's see exactly what even happened. The bulwark class took another hit. Another bulwark, different bulwark taking another hit. Uh, this one's a sinking. Ah, Yosemite, stop firing at the wrong targets. Okay, so let's have everyone engage the indefatigable. I will do it one by one. Whoops. Oh, wait. Can you launch torpedoes? <laughs> you can, okay. Well, it's just pure coincidence that I hit that, but yeah, you should also target them, of course. And St. Louis, you also are now going to engage the indefatigable. She's just priority number one. Can you, Yosemite, can you fire torpedoes at this indefatigable? Or maybe can you fire at this? No, you expend it on this side, which is fine. You have a torpedo left. This is probably another target for the indefatigable. Looks good. Just to get her to keep dodging, hopefully that helps us, buys us a little more time, and you are engaging, I assume, yes. Yes, good, very good. Unfortunately, oh god, the berry. Oh my god, the berry. She's ramming speed, ramming speed. Give her all she's got. I think you're going slow enough that Wait, how fast are you going? 21. <laughs> He's going to ram him. <laughs> God bless you, Barry. <laughs> and the Benny's just watching her her uh, division mates just get slaughtered. <laughs> it was worth it, though, right? So especially if we can put some more hurt on the how. And how. Okay. So I'd like for this illustrious class to go away. Both of these, in fact. I don't want to deal with them. I hope that they just give up the field. <sighs> oh, one of the comments, I think it was the story, was saying that the Northern Fleet has no uh, destroyer support. Which is quite true. All right, advance another minute. Oh, holy. Good mother of God. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of torpedoes. Now she's veering hard to starboard, so she will avoid some of this, but she's already been hit by at least one torpedo. It's looking good like she'll be hit by at least another. Now we gotta keep laying on the hurt though. Let's just continue the barrage. Friendly ships in line of fire, damn. What about, are you also admitting this? Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, good. So as she continues to pivot starboard, we should uh, clip her with a couple more torpedoes. And she's the last remaining threat, I would say. So we'll have the St. Joseph firing their secondaries at the Usk, it looks like. Last Bastion, just keep <laughs> just keep the Usk uh, in line with your rudder, and we'll be okay. Just keep her, you know, I can't believe we haven't gunned her down. Like, is she taking hits? Let's go through the list. This Kale's taking some hits. Tennessee should be turning away, and she is. Uh, Indefatigable is taking some hits up in the north. Looks like two secondaries and one main from the Freedom. I think that that actually knocked out one of her turrets. 12 and a half inch, well, from this distance, I guess it's quite capable of doing that. Kale class is sinking, but 
We laid on some more herd in it anyway, for no reason. Let the KO class take another hit from the Perkins, which is a Cunningham class, which is also launching torpedoes, has lost, has launched the last of her torpedoes, in fact. Okay, we'll have her, I think we'll just have her act as a uh, smoke screen towards the Lexington. We'll get her to cover the Lexington. Okay, the Lexington is almost saved. Providence is almost dead, 745. But I'm not even seeing uh, an increase, a decrease, I should say. Uh, save this ship. Rounds fired at, oh, okay, well, we don't care about that. They're still firing rounds at us, but I don't think, I'm guessing that none of these other ships are gonna get through. All right, well, quickly turn, quickly turn. All right, let's, let's get the hell out of here. Let's pull back, give them the space to retreat. Although honestly, look at all these torpedoes being launched. I think that the Howe is in real trouble. We'll find out next in the next minute. Okay, so we are going through the damage, the kale, another kale, menstrual. Good, I'm glad that we're pulverizing this guy who's coming at us. Not a very dangerous destroyer. Benny, turret destroyed. Oh, the berry went right through the bulwark somehow. <laughs> well, now she's just in a really tough spot. <laughs> we'll just have her sit here and just create smoke, create confusion. Um, okay, the kale class. Stroll, then the Benny, the Barry, the Providence taking another hit. She needs that like she needs a bullet to the brain. Which, I mean, it pretty much already happened, so I guess a second bullet to the brain. You can make it. Katie taking a hit. Starting to, it looks like the number of hits is starting to equalize. May be slightly in our favor still. Okay, that's good. Two other 15 inch hits. And then this Bulwark class still isn't sinking, but boy, has it been peppered by the St. Joseph. Okay, so now the important thing, the really exciting thing. Let's go down to slow. Let me take a drink. And advance the next minute. One, one hit, two hits. Barry is sinking. Probably another one coming her way. Uh, the yeah, you can you fire at the how one more time? No, damn it. But maybe can you fire at the how? Damn it. Whoops! 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 whoops, whoops, whoops support. Okay, cancel. Good. Like, what the hell is going on with the Cunninghams? We lost the one which detached, which is okay. Yeah, just keep getting the hell out of there. I, I just don't think she's gonna make it. And sometimes if you know a ship's gonna make, not gonna make it, you're better off just, uh, I think this one will connect. You're better off, oh my God, there's so much secondaries. <laughs> you know, the fact that the, who was it? The McDonough? McDonough? I don't know how to say this, sorry. McDonough. The McDonough, um, as her collision made this, oh, actually it stopped this ship might have even caused it to sink. Let's pretend that because for role-playing reasons, it's fantastic. Great little story to have her kamikaze action being the, uh, you know, the the feather which broke the camel's back on a ship which was already damaged, but, you know, putting in the finishing blow. It's a, it's a great little story. Okay, so the indefatigable, taking a few more hits. Bulwark, don't know why she's taking, oh, it's secondaries, okay. Bulwark taking secondaries. Yosemite taking another hit. Boy, she does not look great. And we're actually aiming at the indefatigable, which is moving you that way. Don't think, oh, you know what, this one might hit. We have, we're kind of bracketing her, so that's nice. Um, we're gonna keep moving east though. We're gonna even give up this indefatigable just to try to get all of our ships together. Okay, so the Yosemite took some hits. Freedom took a hit. Engine room as well. Good God. Pull back a little bit. Henley, you just launched your second to last torpedo. 
let's let's have you go on, go on in. Ah, she's reporting it being sunk, and she's on fire. I believe that, even though it doesn't report that she's being sunk, we we can quite imagine that she is sinking. This one's sinking. That one's sunk. This one's sinking. I mean, there is a lot of damage done to the British, losing only two ships, which is what I guess we're going to lose right now. The potent terrapin already dead, and the province on death's door. That might be the last two we lose. Now Europa taking some secondary hits. That's good just to stoke the fires there. And this bulwark, which is already sinking, is taking some hits. So Ohio, we are going to have to have some words with you. Let's first choose a target. Man, a lot of sinking ships. Honest to God, that illustrious is the closest thing to, <laughs> that isn't sinking. I mean, this bulwark is also not sinking, but it's sad. I mean, I'm looking at it, I'm like, okay, it has four turrets disabled. Two of those are destroyed. It still has two operable turrets. These bulwark classes actually have so many turrets. Uh, and by so many, I mean they have six. Yeah, I guess that is a lot of turrets. Interesting configuration. How? It's probably still going strong, you know. Um, really depends on where these torpedoes are hitting. We could be getting unlucky, and maybe they're hitting uh, not such weak points on the British ships, and they just three torpedoes, despite the, I believe, I believe that the U-70 has torpedo defense four, which means normally you'd expect them to take four torpedoes, let's say. Four is like, I would say, the four is like the critical point and five is like the breaking point. But unfortunately, our Providence only took three and just didn't get them in the right spot. So yeah, who do we want these ships to target? Because it's better to force them to target someone rather than have them target sinking ships. And yeah, these illustrious classes are not that far away. Oh, well, that's because that one's sinking. Okay. The biggest threat, I guess, is that how but it's too far away okay yeah we're just gonna have to have them target exactly who they're targeting which means yeah there's the problem yes target that one target that one okay good okay then back to the big question how is lady lex doing Providence is worse flooding. Twenty, yeah, she took another blow. Yeah, she's not gonna make it. She's just not gonna make it. I'm gonna bring her to a dead stop, but it's the best I can do, and she really is not gonna make it. Let's start being okay with the the bad news now. Um, not a good place to bring your ship to a stop right in the middle of a huge battle, but I don't want the Lexington to keep spinning into the enemies. I mean, there are some illustrious and an inconstant over here, which are, oh, okay. At least an illustrious over here, which is not sinking, which is you know, a potent enemy. Let's get the Cunninghams to run the, actually this Cunningham in particular, I want to get out of here. Joet, man, as soon as you can, I would love for you to launch this how. Okay, we have two more. We'll angle down and just fire some more torpedoes. If we have any, we don't. So the Chickamauga is the only one left with torpedoes. Where the hell is the Chickamauga? Ah, oh, there she is. Okay, well, yeah, just pull back up then. Give the Chickamauga some angle, uh, an angle to shoot. And she has her starboard side. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so let's see what happens. We'll advance another minute. What fresh carnage waits us? Ah, two misses. Okay, so last Bastion finally got sick of this <laughs> us crudding on her tail <laughs> and just blasted her. <laughs> the entire line of secondaries <laughs> just <laughs> blasted this thing <laughs> into pieces. <laughs> just out of existence. <laughs> 
it may not say three at this point, but I'm pretty sure that's what it can say next. So somehow, all these torpedoes were misses, which is not good news. It's also bad news for the Providence, who, if she ever had a hope or a prayer of escaping, that is now gone. Now we're gonna turn her so her secondaries can get off some more shots, I guess. Yeah, we'll turn her. And the Wichita, you guys will head up this way. Tennessee, head back if you can. Hey, this kale class just drove right at us, my god. So many ships sinking all over the place. I think we've gone like four minutes in this 30 minute episode. Okay, I didn't really pay attention to what was going on over here. Let's just uh, do the usual. Usk take it. Well, I mean, that's not the worst of it. <laughs> Rifleman taking a hit. Warrington. Okay. And these are turning north, which is good. How taking, eh, nothing. Indefatigable. Ooh, another turret is destroyed. None of those torpedoes will find the mark. Okay. And the Henley coming in strong. So indefatigable bulwark, secondaries. Okay. Another 15 inch hit. Oh, we've done some good damage to that one in the end. Providence taking another hit. Just, just what she needs. Yeah, it was pretty light turn in terms of damage so I guess we just move forward one more time oh, damn it I was worried about that she's doing okay though I don't know why their secondaries aren't just raping these destroyers I mean that's what they're there for, but for some reason they, they don't seem to be, either they're very ineffective, I don't really don't know. This bulwark is just a machine, just keeps living. Uh, okay, how takes secondary, okay, good damage here. Probably gonna scare her off at least. Another 15 inch, three five inch hits. Secondary's on a sinking, Chikamaga. Launching, which is good because I was just about to tell her, please launch. She's launching everything. <laughs> you can't miss from this range. <laughs> yeah. So she was already going to launch. Now she'll be launching more. At least two. Okay. Um, I don't know how many hits this How has taken, but... How's the Lady Lex doing? Almost controlled. Last Bastion, down to 344, looks good. St. Joseph, hey, you know what, just turn north, you're now going to be tasked with sinking this bulwark. Well, I guess you're sinking it fair enough at this angle. What the heck? What are you engaging? Don't engage the Usk. Well, I guess turn north. We'll reacquire the bulwark after we make a rotation port side. Okay. Chickamauga is the last hope of this line to sink this dreadnought. We do have some spares, though, coming in from way deep into the battle. <laughs> Where does the Lady Lex even go after this? <laughs> it's like, just get east, I guess. There's very little left alive to the east. This is like pretty much all sinking. Okay, so the Bulwark took two hits. The Bulwark took some secondaries, Chikamaga. Kale took a hit. It's a sinking one anyways. Bulwark, not the sinking, so good job by Last Bastion. And the Rifleman took a hit, and she is also not sinking yet. Okay, so I think we move forward again. St. Louis is coming off the line here. We probably will end up aiming for the Europa. It's a tough call right now. I have a Freedom Yosemite class available, which could be tasked to try to sink this indefatigable. She's certainly taken a lot of hits. She's down to four guns.
Let's look at our details when we're engaging. Under fire, ships fouling the range. We have taken some damage. Smoke interference is minus 20 for everyone. I kind of think it's going to be a good idea. So we're going to come north, northwest, and just kind of shadow the indefatigable. I mean, our firing range is way the hell out there. So we just engage from whatever distance we want, and we should be able to score hits. We don't need to be so close. Now, speaking of being so close, it's probably a good time for the Henley to make her final torpedo barrage. Low, huh? I think I'd rather guarantee the Europa. No, no, let's let's be smart about this. Let's try to force the indefatigable into a, like a worse situation. That's the best. That's the best we can hope for. And now Henley actually just turned and shadow the freedom. She's not going to be rejoining the other ships, like our other battle cruiser division is. So you, you are her only escort. Oh God. Oh, not the right time for that. Just not the right time for that. Let's move forward. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. oh my god. Oh, so beautiful. I was watching it. I don't know if you were. I mean, was my mouse cursor just directly on it? <laughs> That's five torpedo hits on this how. And you know what? We're not done. We're not done yet. Oh my god. Three, that's it. <laughs> Just fire everything. <laughs> so, from this ship, the Hau is still almost a nautical mile away, so it's a pretty good distance. The scale of this map doesn't, doesn't make sense to me. That doesn't seem right. Oh, it's not right at all. It's, okay. So where's the zero point? Yeah, so this whole distance is about one nautical mile, which means this distance is like a quarter of a mile, which that makes a lot more sense. Is a quarter of a mile enough t distance? I don't think it's enough distance to arm a torpedo, but maybe the uh, destroyer mounted ones don't need that much time to arm. I'm thinking like aerial or, well, in particular, the only one I think I know about is submarine. I think submarines take like 800 yards, which is, well, that's a, what is that, half a mile? A little bit less, I mean more. 1.6 kilometers, yeah, it's actually less than half a mile, okay. So, not, it's it's believable at least. I, I would say it's not complete immersion breaking that these torpedoes could arm themselves in time. All right, we haven't, let's do the quick rotation. This rifleman taking some hits, she's now dead. This Kale taking some hits, she's also dead. Bulwark taking some hits, dead. Henley, alive. St. Louis, hopefully going to live. Burroughs, where are you guys? Oh, you're actually engaging riflemen, okay, that's interesting. They don't know you don't have torpedoes, so. <laughs> but otherwise, just raise smoke to save yourselves a bit. Chickamauga took a hit, not surprising. Bulwark. Another hit on her. She's now on fire as well, which is great to see. From the last bastion, good job. And three knots, as I said, she's dead. So good, we don't have to worry about her anymore. Uh, last bastion, how is your flooding doing? 314, okay. Turn west immediately. We're gonna send you back home to port, hopefully before you can sink. So I'm gonna make this command decision. We're sending her immediately west. St. Joseph, please turn very quickly and acquire. I mean, this Usk is not dead either. Oh, it is. <laughs> That's the one I just killed, of course. So yeah, you will, Bainbridge, you're now tasked with escorting the last bastion instead of the other one. I think this ship is sinking. What? Oh, now three of the four disabled turrets are destroyed. That's good. But there's still two who are out there firing. So is this um, bulwark hitting something? No. Henley launched her torpedoes. Chickamauga is launching her final torpedoes. Okay, this will be a, a really good last turn, I believe. 
We'll see what happens with the... Wait, who, uh, who the hell are you engaging? Yeah, but you're not engaging them. You are. Why do your turrets say that you are... Ah, your turrets are lying. Okay, that's, that's good news. I'm glad that they're lying to me. Yeah, sinking on fire. I mean, the fact that she's on fire is going to continue to make things bad for her. This one's sinking. This one's not sinking. Okay, so maybe this is uh, the next target for our group of battle cruisers. But let's just get them over here so we can protect ourselves. Let's consolidate. And let's move another minute. In constant, how? And the provenance is finally going down. Okay. So the in constant from nowhere hit now sinking. Was she already sinking? Maybe. I can't keep track anymore. There's so many of them. How are you sinking yet? Good lord. You took another hit. What? She's up to like seven torpedo hits? Seven forty-eight, man, she's going down quick. Okay, how's the last bastion doing? Three fourteen. She's not gonna make it unless she controls that flooding. Okay, Arcadia, you need to turn back. We actually need your torpedoes. Of which you have three. Well that's less than I expected, but still enough to matter. So bring you back. Freedom's gonna do her little engagement with the indefatigable off it from a distance. She says light damage now. So maybe she's not so injured. And she's definitely gonna avoid that last torpedo. Okay. Well, I mean this 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 uh, battle cruiser division. What really is there? What is there left for them to destroy down in the southeast now? think we wiped out the how if the how is still by any means surviving I will eat my shorts six bloody torpedoes seven I don't know I lost I lost totally lost track and she'll probably aim at the Providence which is now good for the lady Lex the lucky luck Lex okay so let's let's just go even another minute I know it's 40 minutes already another pff, painstakingly slow fight here Trip is sinking. Okay, so let's see what happened. Whoops. We have this bulwark hit. She's already sinking. Oh, secondaries. Okay. Warrington hits the rifleman who is sinking. Kale gets blasted who is already sinking. Come on. Come on, guys. Let's fire at the ones that matter. Bulwark, which is sinking. Trip, which is now sinking herself. Where is she? She was trying to return, so what, did she just get clipped by the indefatigable? She did. Okay. Interesting. Really interesting. Uh, we have this Usk, which is sinking. Okay. So that was a pretty nothing turn. There's exciting turns, and then there's not exciting turns. That was the latter. Uh, we're actually still hitting this rifleman, huh? Oh, she, yeah, she's sinking. Uh, look at Head south. Pull away. We do not want to engage these dreadnoughts. We don't even want to box them in. We just want to get the hell out of here. So make all speed for the coast. If we can bring them into our installations, I'm very okay with that. Okay, these guys got away. How much damage do you have? Your flooding is down to 61. Flooding of zero. 279 brought her below 300. Still flooding at once, you know what this, what? Oh, I just clicked somebody on accident, Tennessee. You know what, not a bad idea. Let's just round up all the, all the ships and make them one big push to the west. Hopefully the British get the heck out of our way. We actually have to, <laughs> in such a big thing as an ocean, we're actually going to have to avoid hitting sinking ships. <laughs> They're just littering the water. I mean, you gotta imagine how many sailors are floating in this water, it's a pretty horror, I would say horrible, but a better way of saying it would... It's a horrific scene. Utter carnage. Sinking ships, oil, fire, and then, like I said, many, many sailors overboard. Those who are even lucky enough to not have sunk immediately or to be dead already. And you probably have a lot of bodies floating in the water, too. 
um, flash fires, just gonna eject people from the ship. What a scene, what a scene. So the how is officially sinking now. Good to know. Okay, so let's not waste our torpedoes then. I will intentionally, the scene here must be so smoky too, my goodness. Uh, I think we start engaging these ships, this Mars, this illustrious, the two illustrious is down here. I mean, they we're, we're hunting them down to the last man. This is it's now vengeance. It looks like we were actually aiming at the indefatigable. And you know what? It, just remember, we're, it's such a close engagement, but our range is, we've been firing, we're, we're basically the whole battle has been within like 33% of our maximum gun range, <laughs> which is insane. Okay, so the bulwark was hit. Why is that bulwark being targeted? I will never know. Because Lexington, maybe she's testing her weapons, seeing if they still work. So Mars is sinking. Usk, sinking. Kale, definitely sinking. Kale, sinking, sinking. Burrows, yeah, get out of there. Us sinking. Illustrious. Not sinking. Hey, the Ohio gets it. Hey, that's the one I asked her to target. Fantastic. And this kale is not sinking. She's not, yeah. So that would be a good secondary engagement target, this kale, who I believe has just let rip with all her torpedoes, but still it's nice to at least eliminate her even though she's done whatever damage she's going to do. And where the bloody hell are these torpedoes coming from? I mean, what? Um, I don't... I don't know. I don't know how to even question anymore. Okay. Let's go another minute. We're going to have to probably call this video. This will be a six-parter. Well worth it, though. My goodness. So we'll get you guys to actually slow down. I want to go cruise. That option doesn't exist. Let's get you guys to go cruise. Just get the cunning cam out of here. Hopefully alive. Have her run north. Um... Perkins, no torpedoes. Two torpedoes on each of these, but what are you spending on now? The house dead. I mean, all you do is you sink other ships, but uh, I mean, you the, all the ships that we want to sink are actually already sinking. So I'm going to leave it here. I think this is pretty much the end of the battle as well. So next time we'll actually see the battle event. We'll probably dwell on that for a fair amount of time. Um, hopefully we can get... I don't even care. No, honestly, I really don't care about getting any of these illustrious classes. I just want to pull. I want to disengage. I just completely want to disengage. So we'll see. I mean, like part of me doesn't let me do that. Part of me just keeps attacking and it's not necessarily the wrong move. I don't think that these battle cruisers, for example, are really going to have any problems. Um, the end of Adidas could get lucky, but she only has two guns. So I kind of like this idea of fighting at range from here on in. Okay, so anyways, thanks for watching this one. Until the next episode, take care.